Welcome everybody, Sky Pilot here uh, on this uh, slightly overcast, slightly breezy day. Um, I've got a spare half an hour so I want to fly the Idea 7 again. And this is the second uh, video I've made of the Idea 7 so yeah, bear with me while I still get the hang of what's going on with this drone, quad, etc. Um, quickly, something I don't like about it. I know my previous video I raved about it. It is pretty cool still. Um, doesn't have a micro SD slot, which is a bit of a pity. Um, I'd like to be able to record to the to the actual uh, quad itself rather than to your mobile device, but not to worry. And we know that by the lights underneath uh, remaining constantly on, so by the power of editing. Here we go. We're still looking for GPS signals. Uh, we haven't found any yet. And up we go. Alright, so where is the Idea 7 in the sky? I'm not too sure why there's a little. Okay, it wasn't connected. Alright, so unfortunately SKGP has stopped. Well, that's interesting. You saw it right here first, guys. <laughs> okay, it stopped. Right. Hang on, hang on, hang on. You just wait there. I'm gonna roll again. I haven't managed to fix the GPS side of things, as you can see. Um, still thinks I'm in Africa, which I'm not. Uh, just have an attempt at doing a bit of trimming here. Forward and backward trimming. There is a slight breeze, so let's not get too carried away with the trimming. Hey. Okay. It does fly quite nicely this train. It's saying 44%. <laughs> I'm not too sure why because I've only just charged it up. But anyway. Uh, warning emergency. Okay. Alrighty. Let's do a speed run shall we? Before we do our surround and run out of batteries. So at the moment. Two presses for fast. One press. Three presses for even faster. And then you've got one. So. We'll do a yaw left and right. This is uh, number one, which I'm led to believe is the slowest. Looks pretty slow. Okay, number two. Yeah, it's a little bit quicker. I think we can actually see the speed on the screen, so you guys can have a, keep an eye on that while I keep an eye on the quad so I don't crash it. And. This one I'm going to have a look at the screen. This is on number three. Let's see how fast we can go here. Holy moly. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that is uh, zipping along quite well. Uh, yeah, really well. Just watch the tree. It's not looking too bad at all. Alright, let's bring it back here. Uh, there's a bit of breeze here and you can see it uh, loves to fight the wind so that it stays more or less there rather than getting blown over there. So I'm pretty pretty pleased that it does that. This is um, a really good beginner drone uh, especially if you don't want to stand here in a slight breeze and control it. Might just stick it on two. Alright. Might just go for a quick distance check here. So at the moment it's saying I'm 10 meters away which isn't all that accurate but we know it can go up to 50 meters. I've done it before so I am going to do it quickly. So I'll come right over here. 
gonna be a good hundred meters over there to that fence line, so let's go for a fly. Signal still good. Yeah, I'm a fair way over now. I've actually lost sight of it, so I'll probably crash in a minute. Oh, let's get some height. Okay. As you can see, guys, it's right up over there. Uh, I'm not getting any... Any... Uh, sorry, just let me concentrate on where it's going. Okay. I'm not getting any interference on the on the feed to the phone. Um, it's looking really good. It's saying I'm 15 metres up, but oh yeah, probably am about 15. It is coming, it's blowing this way a little bit, so let's get some height. And let's get some distance. Look, in reality, guys, you're not going to want to fly much further than this anyway, because um, I can hardly see it. So let's see if I can just balance things up a bit here so you guys can see some pictures. Yeah, the bright sunset's actually playing around with it a bit so I might just spin it around and have a look over this way. The camera at the moment's facing um, straight out on the horizontal so I'm pretty impressed with this picture. Let's zoom it back. Maybe you guys can see it up there. I might just drop it back down now. Um, that certainly, I'm not too sure how far away that went, probably about 100 or so metres, 150, but you're not going to want to go much further than that. Um, yeah, it goes 50 metres, you might think, oh, that's not very good for a GPS drone, but hey, guys, at the end of the day, it is a, a cheap Chinese drone, and um, I'm not touching that, and it's just sitting there with the wind, it's a little bit windy here, it's just sitting there really well. That's pretty cool in my book. Bang for your buck, it's up there. 22% battery. Let's go for the surround. So apparently, we just get it settled. What you do is you hit the surround. Have a look at the fight in the wind there. Terrific. <laughs> hey, don't turn off. Okay, we'll hit the surround. What it's actually meant to do is it's meant to circle a Um, perimeter around you, so I'm hoping that's what it's doing now. Um, it sort of seems to be, <laughs> I don't think I actually set it up right, however, it's doing what I want it to do. It's actually spinning around without me doing anything. You know, it's facing me in the middle here. I'm meant to be the center of attention here, so it's checking me out and spinning around. So I can probably put this thing down here, I reckon. Ugh, go for a scoot. At least it didn't run over my uh, control here. So I suppose if you want to set it up and do something with the kids or get something going on the boat, I reckon that'd be pretty cool. And to stop it, you just whack this around again. Wow, I think I actually did something without stuffing it up. <laughs> awesome. Okay, we have 12% of power. This is normally when something goes wrong, but I'm going to do a power drain and smash it up to 50 metres. 
There's the moon up there, I reckon I'll go that far. Up to 50, come on. Where are we going? 20, 21, 20 meters. I'm not saying 21 meters, but no, it's stopped. Okay. I think it's stopped because I'm running out of power. Yeah, I know when the um, when the red light comes on, it actually limits you to doing things. So let's see, it's not letting me go up any higher than 200 meters. It does go to 50, so don't stress. I haven't uh, looked at hacking the app to try and get it to go any further. Uh, yeah, look, this quad's awesome, guys. Absolutely. It does a lot of other things um, via the app. I won't try and do them all at once because I generally just mess it up. So I thought I'll just try one thing. So today was a surround thingy and a bit of a distance check, so which I think was pretty successful. As I said, the only thing I don't like about this quad is the fact that you can't record to SD, which reminds me I'll just get a little bit of video going here. Uh, you can't record to a micro SD, um, which is a pity. Oh, there we go. So it's going a bit crazy now because I'm running out of power. When this thing runs out of power, it goes all over the place like a mad, crazy person. Look at that. Uh, it loses its... Uh, oh, it's really windy here. It loses its GPS abilities, which is um, apparent because of the flashing lights underneath. So I did read that. Uh, yeah, the SD card, it's a pity I can't record to SD. Um, only to the phone. That's a pity, but uh, take the good with the bad. Uh, awesome unit. Very happy with this. You read some reviews and some people say, Oh, it's crap, this is rubbish, look at it, I was really disappointed. Well, let me tell you. Yeah, forget about it, I'm sorry, but you're wrong. This is a fun little unit, and I'm about to run out of power. Okay, return to home. Awesome. There we are. Just missed the cow dung too, awesome. Thanks, guys. Quick flick, quick spin on the bike, bit of fun. Uh, next video, I'll do a um, a true distance test for it to see what happens when it goes out of um, out of range, whether it returns to home, which it's meant to, or whether it just um, says goodbye and I never see it again. So that'll be pretty interesting. Uh, and also do some more flying with just the app rather than using the controller. And uh, the controller is a lot more fun. However, to access all these features that um, uh, the app offers you have to use the phone and app only without the controller so anyway i'll give this a nine and a half out of ten so far awesome thanks guys take care thumbs up comment and um have a great evening or morning or afternoon see you in the sky bye for now